the massive steamboat geyser eruption, and the 5.1 earthquake that triggered the supervolcano eruption. The year 2025 will be remembered as the moment when nature's most volatile forces converged in a catastrophic sequence of events. At the heart of Yellowstone National Park, the infamous Steamboat Geyser, a towering force of geothermal power erupted with unprecedented intensity. However, this event was merely the precursor to a far greater disaster. A magnitude 5.1 earthquake, striking deep beneath the Yellowstone caldera, sent shockwaves that destabilized the already volatile magma chamber, leading to a full-scale eruption of the supervolcano. The Steamboat Geyser's Unprecedented Activity Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, had already been behaving erratically in the months leading up to the disaster. Its eruptions had grown more frequent, with some reaching over 400 feet in height. Scientists at the United States Geological Survey USGS, closely monitored these outbursts, warning that increased hydrothermal activity could indicate deeper instability within Yellowstone's geothermal system. As the geyser exploded with immense force on the fateful day, it was clear that something far more menacing was brewing underground. Unlike Old Faithful, which follows a predictable schedule, Steamboat Geyser's irregular eruptions make it difficult for scientists to forecast its activity. However, prior to the disaster, researchers noted an alarming rise in underground pressure. Thermal imaging cameras revealed significant temperature increases in the surrounding geyser basin, and ground deformation was detected in the Norris Geyser Bassinoni of the most geothermally active areas in Yellowstone. All these signs pointed to a growing imbalance within the region's subterranean systems. The Earthquake, a catalyst for disaster. At precisely 2.43 p.m. local time, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake struck beneath the northern rim of the Yellowstone caldera. Though moderate in strength, the quake's depth and proximity to the magma reservoir proved catastrophic. The tremor fractured underground rock formations, allowing superheated water and pressurized gases to escape violently. In response, the steamboat geyser erupted with unparalleled force, launching scalding water and steam high into the sky. However, the quake also triggered a rapid depressurization event beneath Yellowstone's magma chamber. This chain reaction caused a significant portion of the chamber's volatile contents to ascend toward the surface, accelerating the inevitable eruption of the supervolcano. Seismic stations across the western United States registered increased activity in the minutes following the quake. The ground around the Yellowstone caldera experienced uplift, a sign that magma was rising at an alarming rate. A swarm of aftershocks rattled the park, some measuring as high as 4.8 on the Richter scale. These tremors indicated that the magma chamber was under immense stress, with molten rock forcing its way through cracks in the Earth's crust. The Supervolcano Awakens Within hours, seismic activity intensified as magma forced its way upward. Fissures spread across the park's geothermal fields, releasing plumes of sulfur dioxide and ash. 